Before we get into the video, can you guys go follow my friend Barry? He made me this incredible, and I mean absolutely amazing, profile picture and banner like words don't express how great this is it's so good he is so amazing at what he does which is i mean he's starting to do short films he's starting to make scripts and he's starting to i mean he's been promoting himself as a uh, photoshop guy for a while now and i mean i did pay for this but it was so worth it i i mean he deserves every cent that i gave him because he was just great this is absolutely amazing i'm taking a new step in my channel and i really hope that you guys will follow me and then go follow him and and then go subscribe to his YouTube channel where he posts short films and whatnot. So any inspiration to him, any any support to him would be amazing and I will appreciate it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here. Uh, before we get into the video, again, <laughs> one thing I just want to point out. Yes, I'm going to be saying, hey guys, it's Salvage here from now on. I don't know why. I can't get rid of it. I'm never going to get rid of it. Here we go. Uh, should Spider-Man PS4, the new Spider-Man game developed by Insomniac Games, actually set up a Marvel gaming universe now a lot of people have posed this question and by a lot i mean people i don't know i've never really seen anybody do it before <laughs> i think i saw slick moth do it once i'm not sure about evan uh, i'm pretty sure he probably did it too honestly let's be honest he probably did it he has a lot of good topics on his channel but i am not really certain about how they're going to be doing this game now i know they're going to be making it uh, a more experienced spider-man who's fighting off a bunch of villains mr negative is not the main villain and he's 23 years old right out of college so i'm really confused about what might be happening in this game and is this a completely different universe with no other superheroes in it i mean if there are no other heroes in here that would kind of suck so i'm going to be going off of I mean, my own theory, my own speculation about how and what they should do if they're going to be setting up a Marvel gaming universe and some things that DC has failed on that, you know, uh, Marvel and Insomniac can actually capitalize on. So before we get into uh, all of this, and I swear to God, if I say that one more time, you could dislike. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if we're going to be getting into this like this, we have to look at DC. What has DC been doing? Well, they've been doing Batman games, Batman games and Injustice. Injustice 2 is right now their main game. We we know nothing else about any other games development. Batman has been getting leaked, but we don't know if it's 100% true. I think it's true. I hope it comes out soon, but who knows? They even said it's going to be rebooted. Leaks have been coming out like crazy about the game. So what I'm looking at here is the universe around uh, the games of DC. And for all we know, for DC, Batman Arkham Knight confirmed several characters, uh, including Flash. Over Gotham and Keystone. At least you can see Batman. In Superman. Bruce Wayne, huh? <laughs> Never would have guessed. The next thing you know, someone's gonna tell me Superman's really a janitor. Oh no, a journalist. So we know there's a universe there, and the only problem that we have is that none of the developers that are making these games are gonna be brave enough or even creative enough to actually make those games. They're not gonna make a Flash game. They're not gonna make a Superman game because they don't sell like Batman does, which is why we keep getting Batman games. Now that kind of sucks, but on the other hand, Marvel has a ton of profitable characters now. Ever since 2008, ever since the first Iron Man, that has been a profitable character. So Insomniac can easily do this in the most grandest fashion ever by making a Spider-Man game, teasing a little bit, maybe some Avengers stuff, maybe there's a Stark Towers, maybe uh, Stark is just leveling up here, who knows? Stark can't even, maybe, maybe Tony Stark doesn't even really have a business yet. And maybe this is a completely different Iron Man that we've seen before, but it's still an Iron Man. Or you could do Hulk for all I care. Uh, talk about on a radio, maybe you're, you're on a taxi cab or something, or you're doing something in a building where there's a radio, and like if there's like an Easter egg, where it's like, oh yeah, a big giant monster just destroyed half of this city. Like that would be a really good thing to do. And then Insomniac would then bring in those characters and make those characters and then put them in a game, create a universe around them, have Spider-Man be in there too, and make a Marvel gaming universe. You know how awesome that would be. I know that it's not the most entertaining, or it's not the most creative thing ever, it's not the most original thing ever, but it would be awesome. And you could bring in a, a, a multitude of different comic book characters if you really wanted to. I mean, if you want to have a new Avengers team in the gaming universe, you could have like Iron Man, Hulk, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, I mean, if you have Doctor Strange in a game, uh, you I don't know any other characters that could be in a game. I mean, uh, Captain America, of course, would be a, a very easy and fun game. You can make a Hawkeye, a Hawkeye game for all I know. Uh, I don't know what else they could do in the realms of, well, I don't really know what rights they can get, but that would be so awesome 
to see a Marvel gaming universe with the Avengers, uh, with Spider-Man, th this version of Spider-Man, Spider-Man PS4, you know, working with Iron Man. And I don't know what they would call it, even call this uh, gaming universe. They can't call it the MCU. They can't call it the MGU. That just sounds weird. They'll call it like the the PS M the PSMGU, the the PlayStation exclusive only Marvel gaming universe. I'm joking. I mean, I hope it goes out to different platforms, but I doubt it will. But the other thing that I want to talk about right now is uh, DC and Marvel. Now, I'm not trying to compare the two, so don't don't quote me on this. I'm just going off the facts. Marvel has made a profit. I mean, a, a profit profit from game, from movies. From the movies they've made over the last, uh, what is it? I think it's nine years now. Or it's, no, no. It's, yeah, it's nine years now. They have made billions of dollars. They have been bought out by Disney as well, which means they have billions of more dollars from that, and they continue to make money. DC has not got to that part yet. They're making money. They're making good money for their first four movies compared to Marvel, but it should be expected when you have Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman in your first three movies. Compared to Iron Man, Iron Man should be blown out of water by these guys, but it's not happening. So right now, Marvel is winning the movies. Right now in uh, the games, Marvel is winning in the games as well. They have the new Avengers game coming out next year. They have Spider-Man PS4 coming out, and then they have Marvel vs. Capcom coming. You'll have your diversion. Make it count. No, wait! Ninjas. I, they might be coming out this year, but we know we're getting three games within a span of uh, three, I'm sorry, uh, one year. So we're going to be getting that very soon, which means Marvel's going to be winning the gaming category. I mean, the only games that, uh, you know, DC has uh, put out is Batman Arkham Knight and Injustice and Injustice 2 in the last like seven years. That's the only DC games that we've gotten, which kind of sucks when you look at it. But, you know, Marvel hasn't put out a lot of games either, but they're starting to ramp up on that because they see the competition there. Now, uh, the last thing I want to talk about here is, is it possible to actually do this? And does Insomniac want to do this? I don't know if Insomniac wants to make more games than just Spider-Man, you know? Uh, if it is going to be possible for him to, to, you know, be a big success in the game, then it is possible for them to make more superhero games. But in my eyes, I think Insomniac is trying to set up something great. Right now, they have a beautiful city. They have an amazing character that they're working with, a brand new version of the character that we don't really see that often. I mean, right now in Spider-Man Homecoming, we're getting a high school student. You know what we got in The Amazing Spider-Man? A high school student. You know what we got in Spider-Man 1 and 2? A high school student. I mean, halfway through his comic span, it's been a high school student. So I'm really glad that they're going in a different direction and making him older, more experienced. But that begs the, the question, will there be more heroes that are just like Spider-Man is right now? Experienced, older, a completely different character than they are in the comics and in the movies and in all of this stuff. I would really like to see that, and it's a perfect opportunity to do that with Spider-Man, starting with Spider-Man instead of like, you know, a lesser known character, or any other character for that matter, because Spider-Man, in my eyes, will always be the token boy for Marvel. I don't care what you say. I mean, you could say Iron Man is, but in reality, who's the, who's the most known character when you think of Marvel? It's mainly Spider-Man. I mean, if it's not Spider-Man, then it's Hulk or it's, it's, you know, Iron Man. But no one would have said, damn, I love Iron Man before 2008, before the movie. So what I'm saying here is, I think Insomniac really wants to build something new for their franchise. And of course, there's going to be more Spider-Man games. This game looks amazing. It's a PS4 exclusive. I'm surprised they're not doing this for more consoles. I understand that's a money thing. And, you know, P PlayStation's probably paying a shit ton of money for this game to be exclusive. But at the same time, it would be crazy to think that Insomniac, in their eyes, will be getting paid fewer dollars than they think. I mean, th this game could blow shit out of the water. It could be the most amazing, profitable game ever, and I hope that it is. I personally think that it should be. Now, that's really all I have to say about the, the Marvel gaming universe. There should be one. I hope there's one, and that's the way to do it. Just introduce Spider-Man, and if you want to just go straight to the Avengers or tease a bunch of Avengers in the game, uh, go ahead and do it. Just, just Here's the thing that I think about. I just think that game developers and movie, uh, movie directors and movie creators and filmmakers should just be like this. 
screw it, let's go for it. If I think it's good, then we should put it out. Like I literally went through about five recordings of this damn video and I didn't put out the bad one. Okay. I went for it and I kept going and I kept making it better, which is what they should do. They should go for an Iron Man game. They should polish it. They should keep making it better. I mean, everybody thought this game, Spider-Man was going to be coming out in, uh, in 2017, but then Insomniac gave us a bombshell and was like, hey, no, it's going to be in 2018 because we want to make it good. So I'm like, heck yeah, thank you. So what I have to say to Insomniac, I don't know if I already said this, but because I've been through three recordings and I might have said this in the last recording, I don't know. But Insomniac, if you are listening, if anybody from Insomniac is listening, please do it. Just go for it. The fans will love it. Everybody else will love it. And I personally think that it will be a huge success on your part if you just go for it. Don't wait. Don't wait for it. Don't just sit there and be like, ah, but you know, it might be weird. No, the Hulk can work. Captain America work. These are human characters. The reason why Superman barely works and people say that Superman doesn't work is because he's very overpowered. The reason why, uh, you know, other characters like the Flash doesn't work is because he, his speed is just a very bad, complicated mess. For Hulk, he has a link. He has a strength, uh, limit you know for captain america he's human he's just advanced you know he's like batman you can make him like batman that's not that hard a batman styled captain america game that would be amazing a batman arkham city styled captain america game that would be dope in an iron man game the guy's made of armor armor can easily be destroyed if enough bullets hit it in the same place i don't know i'm just i'm just trying to say that these characters are human they're way more human than dc will ever create their characters and that's a good thing i like the difference between the two but what i have to say about it is it should be a very cool and an easy thing to do but at the same time making it complicated when you're making new stories and gameplay and, and just making the characters fresh for us and i know that insomniac the, one of the best developers and up-and-coming developers of this time and of this generation will be able to do that if they decide to do it so thank you guys for watching i i can't believe this is a long video i didn't really expect it to be such a long <laughs> fuck okay um Thank you guys for watching. If you guys new are new and you like Spider-Man, uh, stay tuned. I am going to be posting way more Spider-Man videos. I plan on at least making like two Spider-Man videos a week, three maybe. And if I have the time, I'll probably do four. Fourth of July weekend is very close. So I could be able to do that to, uh, you know, make more Spider-Man PS4 videos for the weekend while my mom is in Oregon and I'm stuck here for the next four days, you know, doing work subway hashtag subway marcel from subway i don't know <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out